What's good, gamers? Welcome back to Fizzy MTG, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the blue rookie deck. Very cool. Rookie decks are simple Magic the Gathering decks, perfect for teaching new players. Rookie uh, blue plays evasive flying creatures that soar above the battlefield, draws lots of cards, and annoys the opponent with tons of disruptive spells and effects. The If you guys, you know, if you want to play blue, blue is a very interesting thing. Here are your keywords. Keywords are very, very useful. Uh, and then this is... Oh, one second. Let me get all of this back on the thing. This is the turn order. Uh, and if you guys want a more ex slightly more explained version of this, in the first video I did go over kind of what a, each of these are. So you guys can check that out if you want, if you're interested. I imagine probably most of you already know the rules. Possibly a lot of you know them even better than I do. Now the question is, okay, so it looks like this, oh no, it is not. All right, I thought it might be in order. Let me uh, order this and I'll, I'll return in a moment. All right, now just in case any of you guys out there watching, if this is your first time uh, looking into Magic the Gathering, I am going to try to go through these and explain them the best I can in a very beginner-friendly way, if possible. So we're going to start with the land count, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, which is standard. And once again, just in case you haven't watched the first video, I do recommend you start if you're building, if you want to build and you've got some cards. Uh, if you've never built a deck before, I recommend picking a color you like, a monocolor deck, meaning you would build one color, and trying to keep your cards around one to three mana cost. That's up here. This is a three drop, meaning it takes two generic, which can be paid with any color, and then one blue mana, which this is all blue, so it'll, you know, obviously play every card in the deck. Uh, keep most of your cards around that mana level, and especially a lot in the ones and twos. And then kind of ramp up a little bit as you go, you know, a few cards in the deck that are higher, but kind of stick to that for your first and just kind of pick simple effects that you understand. Uh, it's it's really simple and you can still have a really fun time, even if all the cards are vanilla, which I will show you an example of a vanilla card if there's one in here. But for now we have Befuddle. It's a three drop instant spell. Instant means you can cast it during your turn or your opponent's if, you're, if you have untapped mana available to you. Target creature gets minus four, minus zero until the end of turn, and you draw a card. That can be very useful. Unsummon. Uh, it's a one drop. allows you to return target creature to its owner's hand. You can use this on your own cards or your opponents, depending on what you're trying to do. we got a couple of those. Probably going to have four of those, I'm going to assume. Uh, we've got an air elemental. It's a five drop. See, this is a little bit... Uh, a little bit higher cost, but it's not bad. It's a 4-4. Four, four, very good. It's got flying, and that's pretty much it. It's vanilla other than that. I mean, no effects other than flying. Uh, then we've got another Befuddle. Another Befuddle. Divination. It's a 3-drop. That lets you draw two cards. This is one thing Blue really likes to do, and uh, it's great. Drawing cards is a very blue thing, and it is very fun. Uh, Wish Coin Crab. This is a vanilla. It has no effects, just flavor text. And uh, some, you know, I'm pretty sure they all have at least flavor text. It's a four drop. It's a two five, which means it has five toughness, two attack. Very nice. There's a couple of those. Oh, three, at least. Uh, elite instructor. When elite instructor enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. That's a very useful effect to have. Uh, air elemental with flying. Another divination. A phase dolphin. Whenever phase dolphin attacks, another target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. I'll let that. It's trying to zoom in on the, the the little character's leg here, which is really funny. Or it's trying to focus there. Come on now. Focus on the card. There we are. Yes. Uh, it's a 1-4 for 3. Very nice. Befuddle. Another 3-drop. Keen Glider. It's a 2-drop. You can pay 2 and a blue. Uh, target creature gains flying until the end of turn. And obviously this is the casting cost. And then once this is on the field, you can then pay this amount and target creature gains flying until the end of turn obviously if it's your first turn and you play this he's summoning sick in case you didn't know that meaning you can't attack with a creature when you first play it uh but you can you could still give it flying though i don't think that effect would necessarily matter because it doesn't tap the creature if it tapped that's a different thing probably making it sound more confusing than it is another one of those we've got another unsummon 
I, I love Unsummon. It's a very useful card. Another Elite Instructor. Another Elite Instructor. Another Air Elemental. Shimmer of Possibility is a two-drop. It's a sorcery, which means uh, you can only play this during your turn. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. Another Wishcoin Crab. Aven Wind Mage, which I think we've already read, but just in case. Flying, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Aven Wind Mage gets a plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Or gets plus one, plus one. Couple, three of those. Very good. Probably four. Another Phase Dolphin. Another Keen Glide Master. Divination. Air Elemental. Another Divination. Another Keen Glide Master. Another Elite Instructor. Another Aven Wind Mage. Shimmer of Possibility. And Unsummon. And that is the blue rookie deck it's uh pretty good there's still a lot of vanilla but there's a nice amount of like a little bit more complexity because blue i do feel like a lot of the complexity in magic uh is oftentimes in blue decks depending on how you want to do it, or something with blue because blue likes to play with things uh like the stack which oof, the stack is probably the most complicated thing in Magic that I know of, and I'm not very good with it, so I'm not going to try to explain it exactly, but I will say that it's basically like if you play something, an opponent can respond to that thing. And what happens is like, think of it like in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like you activated my trap card. Well, it's like a trap card activating a trap card. <laughs> and then it's like, I play this. And it's like in response to you doing that effect... I'm going to cast this. And then you can then, in a lot of cases, respond to that. And then they can respond to that. And then you can respond to that. And as you can see, it stacks and stacks, and then they reverse order for the way that they resolve. That's basically my knowledge of stack. It can get very complicated, uh, and it's it, it weird. But anyway, if you guys want to know more about that, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to do some research and learn more so that I can bring that knowledge to you guys if you're interested. Uh, I'll also try to link uh, maybe at the in the end card of this video. If I remember, I will link uh, the command zone video where they talk all about the stack because that is uh, some complicated stuff, but it is really cool, very interesting. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like, comment, consider subscribing, all that good junk. Share with a friend. And, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. Woo!